Howdy ho, and welcome back to Project Zomboid. Today we're going to be embarking on the uh, 200 days of surviving as an all-negative traits character, uh, as Washing Beard Democritus, our protagonist, uh, this time for uh, the follow-up to the first 100 days. Uh, we did survive 100 days. This is going to be, technically, this is a part two. If you want to see how we got here, watch the 100 days segment. See how all this started. But, I mean, for all intents and purposes, we are a new man. This is a new journey. We have changed significantly. Let's just go over a few things that we are right now. We are, above all, overweight still. Uh, we've actually gained more weight back on our... Well, actually, let me just start at the beginning. CDDA challenge. We started out as a character who was drunk, fell out of the shower with glass shards in his crotch, falling over at a nasty cold, which we still have a cold. Uh, as, as you can see by this moodlet, uh, have a nasty cold, so... Just causing us to sneeze and cough all the time, that's all this. Anyway, uh, but yeah, to update on our progress, we did lose some of the weight. We started off as a morbidly obese man, uh, and now we're just regular overweight. We're at 99 kg, um, I believe that is the unit of measurement there, but yeah. Um, man who fell out of the shower in a drunken stupor, uh, started with all the negative traits. Uh, a few we did overcome, like being out of shape. Our character got into, well, great shape. He's now at fitness level 4 and strength level, well, 4. Going on 5 soon. Uh, sprinting has improved. Some of his sneaking abilities, his maintenance ability, cooking and farming. Uh, as well as the foraging. And we are coming into the spring here. It's March 18th in-game. Um, and above all, uh, I am optimistic about this. But we start off with everything bad, everything is getting slightly better. We're really not ready to go back into civilization, though. Uh, not just yet. We're going to need to do a good bit more, I would say, stat grinding before we really have an opportunity to go back into civilization and fight zombies uh, and take back, hopefully, some loot and some spoils. But we have most of the things that we already need out here in nature. Uh, we secured those in the first hundred days, but now it's really just a matter of can we get stronger? Can we go back and retake what is rightfully ours? I'm just going to remove some of this grass over here. Here we go. This, this is looking a little bit untidy. Uh, but yeah, it'd be nice. Um, but yeah, we've moved to a cabin, then a lakeside, uh, very remote and away from everything. Actually, man, we've got so much growth here, too. Can I just... No, I can't actually remove the grass on the side. Oh, well, whatever. I mean, a lot of erosion has occurred. Um, Fled Muldraw, increased levels in fitness and strength, lost a ton of weight, uh, and we got a few items that we needed to survive. Like, we have a saw and things like that now, garden saw, notch wooden plank, enough to build a fire whenever needed. Uh, but really right now, today, and for the foreseeable future, I would say at least at the start of, at the, start of the second 200 days, is going to be... Um, the mission of losing this cold, as well as just getting into, well, really good shape to hopefully overcompensate for how many negative traits we have. We're still illiterate, thin-skinned, high thirst, restless sleeper, slow healer. All of this stuff is kind of compounding, but if we do get into, like, godlike shape, at least some of that will be mitigated. Uh, so that is kind of the mission for today, anyway. Um, we'll see how far we can get. We've got just cabbages, tons of stale cabbages on the ground that we were growing. I'm going to go ahead and start another set of these things, but uh, I would like to get to strength and fitness level at least five before I really attempt to get back into civilization. I keep putting this off, but it is kind of necessary, to be totally honest with you. So uh, we do have, where is our second cooking pot of water? We should have another one around here somewhere. There's all my fishing gear from before. Uh, but yeah, like I said, current mission, get rid of the cold, gain a little bit of fitness uh, level, get back into normal weight territory. It would not be bad to lose a few pounds again. Uh, the overweight isn't really hurting our strength, but it, it is affecting us in other ways. Um, other than that, spear crafting so that we can do a little bit of combat. And then uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Oh, and as a quick aside before I get started, I did mod out the hard of hearing trait just because people were telling me that it just made the whole viewing experience much less pleasurable. So I did remove that from our character. But um, yeah, I think without too much further ado, we will go into the woods here and see if we can find any uh, scraps for tonight. I, I would like to get a fire going. I want some more fuel on that. 
Uh, and then I'll work on my fitness a little more. Wow, I just wanted to pause and stop for this. We've actually found leeks now, so we must be getting springtime uh, foraging here out in the woods. We hadn't found any plants the last time. Oh my gosh, wow, a grasshopper too. Wow, we're already getting springtime foraging uh, from the woods. Now, this is going to speed our foraging progress, so we'll maybe be able to see around ourselves soon, because right now we've been stuck in this three-tile radius. You can squat and you can creep. Uh, to get a slightly better radius, but that's basically the only interesting thing that I've seen in like four or five. Oh my gosh, parsley as well. Wow, this is crazy. I never expected it to get this good. Um, we will take the logs as well. Yeah, really, I was out here looking for firewood in the first place, but just so many more opportunities at foraging, which it was pretty boring before this, to be totally honest. Oh god, grape leaves. There's just so many things here. Wow. Uh, all right, we'll see what we haul and bring it back. All right, we managed to locate a centipede, uh, grape leaves, grasshopper, leek, parsley, and a few unknown berries. We're going to keep checking these berries just to make sure. Uh, you want to be careful with unidentified berries because some of them can be indeed poison. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is like protein. <laughs> uh, I mean, we want to stay fed because our character gets hungry so fast. But at the same time, we also want to be losing weight now, just a little bit. So finding food, I mean, if you'd call these grasshoppers food that isn't so calorie dense, is actually quite a nice, yeah, see, like now I'm just peckish. Very nice. Uh, in the meantime, we will probably continue to just build our carpentry skill because carpentry three is something worth working toward here and sawing logs is a great way to do it. See, we just got like another experience point off of that. We can throw these into the fire, so we'll just add in the planks as fuel. But gradually as we go, uh, I know we aren't really doing any combat, but we are becoming gradually a better combatant, as it turns out. Um, we can create spears. Uh, we also have found chipped stones, which is quite nice, because we can use those toward the crafting of an axe. We may need to down a couple zombies, though, for more... Uh, Rip cheats, stuff like that. Actually, I'll go by the lakeside here. But yeah, a little bit of crafting, a little bit of thirst. Just things are looking a little bit up from where they were. It was a bit of a bleak winter before. Uh, and anyway, that is to say that situation seems to be improving. I'll have a leak as well. All right, we're embarking on our first uh, real exercise regimen here. We're going to be switching between squats and burpees for a while. I'm just going to leave him to do this. Uh, he, he's going to be in a lot of pain, but whenever we come out of this, uh, we'll be at strength level 5. So, finally average. Yeah, 5 out of 10 in fitness, 5 out of 10. It's going to take a while, especially on that fitness. But uh, switching between these as well as carpentry and foraging experience is just going to keep it a little bit less... Uh, it can get very monotonous, and especially because foraging um, spawn tends to, like... Or, or it tends to, foraging tends to respawn every few days, it seems. Like, if I walk over the same, you know, uh, squares, then I'll find new things. So, obviously, uh, it would be nice to kind of switch it up and take this through maybe the beginning of April when the temperatures start to warm back up a bit again, because we're still hypothermic as is. Uh, and being well-fed just isn't really helping us right now. So, on to more of that. It's time for a nice dinner of bugs. Uh, this is our life now. We eat bugs because, well, we're trying to lose weight. And honestly, I think if more people did it, we wouldn't live in such an awful world. All right, two weeks have passed by and I've been sitting in my house eating cabbages and doing push-ups. I am stronger now. Uh, level five. Fitness still has a ways to catch up, but you can see... Oh, it's... It didn't really go up, but I was expecting our inventory carrying capacity to go up. It should go up at some point or another. Lots of pain, but worthwhile pain. Um, what else is there to say? Uh, I'm still waiting for the warmer temperatures. I still haven't managed to shake the cold. It's just been sort of a meditative period of indoor time and uh, like gradually improving foraging could improve but again these things are just very long grinds that are honestly going to take several weeks uh to to get over fully although i think it would be nicer to get another level of fitness just because uh that's going to prevent us from being out of breath when we go for our next looting run so 
a little bit more of this, a little bit more of that, some seeds in the ground, some foraging, uh, and all in all, it's going to add up to a more average-looking man. Uh, I don't think we'll get carpentry, the level 3, by the next time, but uh, foraging might be able to do it. Anyway, a little bit more grinding to do here, but I would like to at least shake this cold. I think we can do that. The temperatures just haven't risen that fast with the coming of spring. So it looks like we'll need to wait a little bit longer, but uh, it shouldn't be, I guess, too long. Now that we're outside 44.3 degrees, yeah, for mid-April already, that seems a little low. So uh, when it gets warmer, maybe with the next harvest we'll get over this cold, I, I would guess. Otherwise, I'm, I'm cursed. Right, it's April 10th. I've actually worn out my shoes while I was foraging in the woods, so I've come back here, like, with scratched feet. But that's kind of crazy, because I've never worn out a pair of shoes just from simply wearing them too much. Honestly, just a crazy amount of wear has taken place uh, with Washing Beard Democritus. Uh, we are... What a name, man. We are going to... Hopefully get some cabbage harvest, but it, it's I've been basically been sitting here for like two hours and just kind of grinding out seals It's getting a bit hypnotic, uh, but honestly he is getting a little bit better. I just would like to take better care of him um, I did notice a couple zombies in the woods back there though, too It seems like over time. I keep hearing these like gunshots I think hordes might be redistributing in my in my general direction, which is crazy because this is super far off the grid, this house, but I'm going to have to keep an eye out for now. Um, yep, foraging, carpentry, and strength, or really not strength for a while because that's 30,000 XP away. That's a, that's a good ways for now. Uh, fitness, I think, is doable, though, but I think once we get one... Maybe two and maybe three or even just one then we can go back into civilization But still again waiting on this harvest. All right. Well, the date is April 23rd I've basically spent an entire month working on fitness now uh, I, I don't regret it though, you know It's it's a long slow and steady grind and whenever it rains out. I just plant more cabbages because uh, I have thousands of ca stale cabbages and r they're all rotting on the ground of my are on the floor of my cabin it is a sight uh, but <laughs> I, I don't really know what else to do here I mean if I forage uh, I'm getting a little bit closer it won't make my life that much better though yet the carpentry maybe maybe but I still want to get this fitness up just a bit more because I need to be at least average in other things because look at me go I mean I can oh I thought I could run as it turns out, I cannot run, because probably because I'm horribly exhausted. Uh, but I've seen him, like, you know, kind of perk up a little bit more and, like, run a bit a bit more when he wakes up nowadays, which is kind of, well, it's kind of great, considering that he has to sleep on a stool every day. Like, look, when I wake up on the 24th in the middle of the night, I suppose it'll be just pitch black out. Um, but yeah, like, running... Like a normal person, actually. Which is kind of crazy. The other thing that's happened to me, too, and I'll say this is just kind of put a damper on progress, is it's still really cold. We're at, like, 38 degrees, and it's already April 24th. Uh, I mean, could be seasonality. Or, not not seasonality, but could just be irregularity. But, yeah, it just seems like a very cold spring, because I feel like it should be warmer by then, but... I mean, we remain stuck a bit, but we're coming back down into normal territory and weight, so I suppose that's a good thing. Uh, we will just engorge ourselves with more cabbages for a while here. But yeah, that's about it. Um, I'll update when I get to level 5. Oh my gosh. I think my cold is going away. It's been like five months. I seriously thought there was something wrong, but now I have only the sniffles. Unfortunately, I, I mean, I'd been eating good food for a while. But there is hope at the end. All right, my cold is coming back again. I probably had a fleeting opportunity to get rid of this. Uh, I just happened to run out of cabbages that are in good condition. But it, it does show that my cold is shakable. I, I've had a cold for almost half a year now. That's a long time. But... I, I thought I was cursed. This shows that I'm not cursed. Okay, there is hope. Anyway, 
I guess we'll keep waiting until the end of the cabbage harvest, but also we've been waiting for the air temperature to rise, which now outside... 47 degrees. All right, not bad, not bad. Maybe we'll get somewhere. Anyway, back to it. The date is May 7th, and I stand to reach fitness level 5 today. I think one more set of burpees and we'll be there. This has been a pretty impossible grind. Uh, we've had a couple flashes where it seems our cold is about to go away, but it, it's, it, it never really seems to dissipate, so... Uh, I'm confident we'll get there. The air temperatures have been so cold for May. It's crazy, but we are now sustaining, like, basically the ideal weight. Uh, so I can't complain too much. Uh, and the temperatures do seem to be rising. I would say maybe an average of, like, 5, 10 degrees over the last month. But that's pretty so uh Actually, it's not that solid. It's pretty up and down. I'm just trying to think of something good to say, because this has been, like, a pretty ungodly grind, and... For the most part, it's just been awful. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but that is to say, I, I'm genuinely curious how far an all-negative traits character can come. And here we go. Jesus, that took a really long time. But we are now at level 5 in fitness, so we are an average human being in terms of uh, strength and fitness now, which is amazing considering that we were basically subhuman to start. Okay, this is very jarring. I was out in the woods foraging like a normal person when suddenly, like... What is this? Like, ten zombies just came out of nowhere. Really didn't expect this at all. Uh, not good, to be clear. To be clear, I, th I think that one is pretty much a given. But, um... Yeah, now I need to be careful in the woods. I guess I've just been here too many months that now, you know, danger lurks. Something is afoot. All right, as a result of engorging myself with cabbages for weeks and weeks, we're now on day 150. I'm now back down to just, you have a cold and the sniffles. So, oh, nope, there it goes back. Ugh. This thing is so hard to shake. I mean, I've been sitting in here eating tens of cabbages, but Nothing seems to change. What happens if we just stay in here for- I'm gonna continue the experiment, but it would be nice to get rid of this thing. I mean, man. Alright, I'm getting close to the end here with, uh, then reaching the next level of foraging. Just a couple more items, probably. We are currently at... 740. This is like two more forage items worth. Uh, until we hit the next level, but one thing I've noticed is that you do seem to hit, like, a- kind of a barrens. When you get, uh, too far out into nature. And you just don't really seem to hit any more forage. So I've been always waiting for these, like, deep forest regions, uh, to appear. But it seems to me that it's slightly better, just in general, close to my camp. It's just, you know, speaking from the extensive testing of, like, months of doing this, really. Uh, but I would say day 150 and level 4 foraging, not bad, not bad. I mean, we haven't been relying on it, but... We got here, stone. Okay, I'll update when I get to the end. All right, berries, and that is foraging level four. So let's, uh, moment of truth right here, 9, 10 a.m. It's still pretty bright out. And if we can't do this, then... Ah, we still can't. Wow. That's amazing. We are just trash. <laughs> I mean, level four, we got all the way up to level four for nothing. For nothing. Foraging hasn't been bad, but still stuck at this search radius of three. It's just too bad to me, because, you know, we got the aiming bonus on. We seem to keep hitting something else. No. Dar I guess darkness effect. Well, we're not really getting that. Yep, so just this wasn't worth it. Oh, well. I mean, you know, months of effort, but at least the fitness and strength were where we put the vast majority of our time. This really isn't as much time when you... uh when you lay it down on paper, just because we were passing so many nights, we had to do so much more resting when we were doing our other tasks. But yeah, I'm thinking, from now, we have one harvest of cabbages. Let's try to get back into civilization. Let's do it. Let's give this a shot. Bring a couple spears with us and, you know. I mean, all right, I've pretty much geared up for tomorrow. I've got a couple spears on me. I've got all this crap on the ground, debris, you know, like lemongrass and... Uh, that's actually useful for neutralizing any type of poison. We're gonna leave that there. There's a few items here of, of potential importance. Really just the tree branches is, is the one 
bit where I feel like it's kind of a shame we didn't get to do more with them because we just didn't find enough chipped stones. I could do a little bit of foraging on the way, but I've got my bag packed up with some... Uh, well, I've got water in my inventory. I've also got bugs to eat on the way there uh, and some berries. So I think... <laughs> Like, starting there actually seems like a pretty decent place. My my farming is pretty much done for now. I could wait for another rain, I suppose, but uh, time's a waste, and we've been here long enough after all. Uh, I will go back into search mode, though. I, I think we will just, like, forage as we go in case we... And there is another zombie there. Yeah, so there are a few throughout these woods now. This isn't quite as remote as I first found this place, uh, sadly. But, ooh, you actually have a knife lodged in you. Wow. Came right to me. And in great condition. This is fantastic. Uh, okay, we can now officially make a lot more spears. All right, well, it did start raining, and I figure uh, anytime it rains is pretty much a good time to sow seeds, because you need about two rains. So another one's pretty much bound to happen, and it just eases up on the amount of work I have to do uh, watering these things before I go. So that's pretty much become SOP. I've gotten pretty good at living off the grid. You know, I, I found it kind of boring before, to be honest with you, but, like... Uh, okay, there we go. Seeds, uh, whatever. I, I have so many seeds. I got seeds coming out of my ears. Uh, but yeah, now we will set out once again. I think we are slightly over encumbered here, but eh, no matter. Um, we're pretty strong now. What are we at? 11? Yeah, 11 kg carrying capacity. Even with disorganized. Oh, yeah, and we can eat some of these cabbages as we go merrily along anyway i think we will return probably to our old bed just so we can get a decent night's worth of sleep uh i will go into let's just go kind of carefully here yeah all right anyway get a night decent night's sleep and then we'll go back out on another looting run back into the uh towns where we were going before and we just couldn't really get anything to happen Right, already encountering my first few here on the train tracks as I'm crossing back. There really are a lot that I've left in this path. I thought they would have dissipated over the months, but I guess they haven't. And really, the main issue here is that my spears just keep breaking. Like, my character's fitness is markedly improved. I, I can already tell, but... Yeah, see, there another spear goes. I just broke three spears and I killed... I, I think maybe two or three zombies, so... Like, we're going to have to go ahead and just do it all again and because of how slow I am with transferring items because I'm all thumbs. Uh, it just really takes a while, so... Um, yeah, again, I, I think we had the right idea here. These spears are... Uh, or spear crafting condition is the most important part here. Like, getting a good pitchfork would be huge for this guy. But... Uh, a couple more to take out before we get back. I do I do want to clear this path as well. Oh, Jesus, man. I don't think I'm going to be able to clear this path. That is a shame. Okay, I've, like, yeah, there's one behind me. I've very much underestimated how horrible I made this whole thing for myself. So, you know what I'm going to go ahead and do? Is just not trace back over any of the steps of the things that I did before, I think. Uh, I think that was the wrong idea. Or maybe gradually we could take out one or two from these areas. Like, see, two insta-kills. Not bad, but... Look, now I'm gonna have to go find tree branches to get a whole bunch more. Uh, so, kind of a shame. Uh, but I did have more spears at the last base. We just need more spears here, really, is the main thing. Once we get the spears, then we can actually get something going. Alright, so I guess it's gonna be wood foraging again. We've arrived back at our old home base. Uh, seriously overgrown, even from where it had been before. It just looks totally overtaken by nature. Kind of cool. I, I love coming back to places like this. Uh, let's see. Oh, we could actually wear that. Couldn't we? Oh, no. That is... Uh, sorry, I thought that was a bandana. That is a... This is, uh, I believe this is a piece of women's clothing. All right, well, whatever. We don't have one to begin with, so more layers. Um, coveralls, not really useful, but, mm, mm, sack, uh, tree branch. Okay, this is what I was looking for. So just tons of tree branches. So let's go ahead and just see. I do believe we get some carpentry experience for this. So 57.23. And if we make spears, just as many spears as we can, really. Just to have an armory of these things. 57.23 down to... Uh, wow. Jeez. Okay, so that used up the rest of our knife. Sad. Uh, we may actually be able to repair the knife eventually. 
but that got five we got five spears i would say what was that about eight spears out of that knife not bad um but yeah they're all of like pretty terrible quality or just very inconsistent quality so we can leave these here now we have like a whole kind of yo we want to get an armory going is the idea an armory man um cans chili man we really still have never found that can opener um Taking these with us, okay, combat is not bad, maybe a little bit of that, but, uh, I feel like the, there's the forage, forage is more worth it for the chipped stones so we get more of these things. Yeah, carpentry and foraging here, I suppose, alright, let's keep, uh, the search up, but also, too, what did I leave back at the home base? I think it was just regular stones here, yeah, that is unfortunate. The unusual occurrence of a pixelated object with tongs. Uh, fishing tackle sneakers. Good idea. I did some extra sneakers here. Forgot about that. Um, you know, willing to say, let's give town a look. But maybe once we've slept. Right? Much as I left it, this area is just totally overrun. Uh, this is where we shot off the shotgun a few months back. So there really isn't too much loot over here. So what I think I'm going to do instead is just duck back into the woods. We'll walk over here, and instead we're going to come back out on the uh, southern side of the eastern apartment. Or, uh, not apartment complex, the um, the mobile home lot. Um, hang on a sec, I thought I heard more. Yeah, there's more around here. It's such a tricky place to fight zombies. It's like a narrow corridor where more could come out at any time. But, alright, getting a decent, honestly, kind of killing it right here. Uh, do we have... These are better than our other baggy jeans. All right, I'll take these. Finally. Fresh clothing. Haven't had this in so long. And there comes more. Jesus. Oddly enough, I'm finding that it's more productive to just fight zombies because of the sheer number of them with knives lodged in them rather than search for forage out in the woods and hope that we find a... Uh, you know, like a chipped stone or something like that. Just because, hey, I mean, the fact that we can fight now, and he seems to be better at getting insta-kills now with these things, and he he's not really getting winded very easily. All that fitness work was actually worth it, as it turns out. Um, really, even more so than the strength. I'm not sure if, that, if the strength affects it quite as much, but, you know, it is what it is. A bread knife here, uh, a hunting knife there, and suddenly, uh... You are a warrior. I just want to keep track of this. I'm now at 126 zombie kills. Uh, 91 kg and dropping. That's only because I, I overate on cabbages. You know, I, I take it back actually here. I think what I'm going to do, just because the woods are so soiled with like re me really polluting them uh, with the distribution. I think I'm just going to stick to open areas now because there's too many around and it just feels risky to go around in the woods. So... Sticking around here, but, you know, we, we'll be a little bit patient with it, and overall, like, clearing them out and actually making a bit of progress each day, to the point where I don't feel like I'm constantly running off, uh, is actually the opposite of demoralizing. It is remoralizing, in fact. Right, you know, I could keep banging my head against a wall with this uh, mobile home complex, but I was starting to think to myself, you know, it might actually just make more sense... To make our way back to Muldra. Um, and I don't think it's Muldra itself. Well, probably not that. But I would say either the lumber mill. McCoy lumber beside it. Or more likely, all of the farmland off to the far off to the west of McCoy is really going to be an even better bet. I'm actually going to get started just walking there right now. Yeah, so Muldra itself looking pretty overrun. I mean, we're only on the outskirts right here. And already I can just see like dozens everywhere panic rising constantly we are, we are getting close right here to the isolated house uh we're by like the train station on the edge of town it's gonna get really dense in a moment oh god jesus is there even any way through that group uh, okay never mind uh i'm actually in some danger right here wow surprising surprising all right farmhouse itself looking pretty horribly abandoned uh pretty well like ransacked and overrun so not even worth it but yeah we're getting situations like that uh mm, i think we've got one more tree line to get through here and then we're yep this is the main road right here 
This is going to get pretty crowded. I take it back. I guess it's not crowded. Or down the... Yep. Down there it is crowded indeed. Oh, man. It looks so, like, eroded. I love that look about it. Now, when we do get to McCoy, uh, rather than a few years ago, I do believe spawn tables have been, like, redone. So that McCoy is actually not quite as good as it used to be. Ooh, this is a secret passage right here. Or not really that secret, but... Uh, at least a path that I can kind of navigate through. Man, it's so tricky to get through these trees. But yeah, okay, little path up here, and we make our way to the lumber mill. We go! Yes! This away. Now, if we go in quietly enough, we might be able to go building by building. Just get a look at least at, at what is going on at it. Alright, this could be an event, actually, and this is... Like, this place used to be so abandoned and nice, which is why, as I originally said, I think we're going to need to go beyond the lumber mill. Yeah, the lumber mill itself is looking pretty overrun, too. This used to be such a great area to go to. Oh, man, that, look, that guy's got an axe in him, too. That would be sick for uh, kills. Actually, spears are better, but... Yeah, look at that, man. Oh, this used to be such a good area, too. That actually kind of upsets me. This used to be such a great place to go visit. Well, like I said, I think we're going to need to keep going west. So, kind of a shame, but there are better places now. And this area used to just be too easy anyway, so. Alright, uh, to the west then we go. I suppose. Alright, I'm going, uh, about as far west as I went. Ugh. Are they really in the woods, too? Jeez. Yeah, they are, like, in the woods here. What the hell? You're kidding, right? Well, this is awful. Yeah, okay, I think we've gotten beyond the urban spawn area. Yikes. That was bad, man. It does clear out here when we get to the far west, though. Okay, here we go. Tree clearing. I think we're beyond the trouble now. Ah. Okay, this is about where I had wanted to end up. We're beyond McCoy now. We're beyond Muldra. We're beyond all of the other stuff that we had been near. Uh, and there are wells out in this part of the world. Um, if we go far enough, then we'll find some wells that are just like infinite sources of water. Clean water, too, at that. We don't even have to worry about cleaning it or anything like that. Uh, and a couple, like, cabins in the woods. But the main thing I'm out here for is warehouses and the potential of finding mechanics and car items. Okay, at last, we've made it. Uh, I've been doing a little bit of scavenging because I've been here. Wow. It's completely empty. That's even better than I expected. I, I expected a few hordes guarding this area, but this is insane. Because these areas are easily uh, big enough to sleep in. You know, if we play our cards right here, and if we get good enough loot in these places, we might just live here. This could be so much better, man. Hang on a second, what was that sound? And can you imagine? The one thing I really think would make Zomboid cool would be if you had, like, NPCs building up their own bases. Okay, there's gotta be stuff in here. Even on these spawns, on the six-month-later starts, you always find stuff in these warehouses. Yeah, rake, garden saw, and leaf rake right there already. What else have we got in these? Uh, although the these uh, these containers can be worse. Of course, I would have just said that. Okay, all that we've got is sacks of rotten food in here. That was kind of unlucky, but yeah, I mean, still hitting up the right kind of place though. Farming equipment. Now we just need like the equipment warehouse, maybe the one beside this. You know, interesting. I don't even remember these types of loot tables being in these uh, warehouses. Though I guess this is some sort of like shipment, agricultural shipment one. All right, um, to the next one. <laughs> kind of unlucky. All right, and it looks like this warehouse is also just a bunch of rotten food as well, which is unlucky. Uh, the last time I had done this, this these warehouses had way better spawn type. Okay, a watermelon. Eh. Alright, I'm setting out today. I've got, uh, nothing in these warehouses. But, you know, isolated. Nobody's spawning here. Actually a decent place to come back to and 
very roomy, very easy for me to fall asleep in with my uh, with my claustrophobia going on, which is nice. It's rare to find a small room in which I can do that, but this is the kind of thing I'm looking for, right? Like, okay, yeah, other than a couple zombies here and there, but see, this is manageable, like one or two rather than, you know, 10 or 20 in an area to fight. Very, very easy. Oh, geez. Okay, a couple more. A couple more. Um, but yeah, like, types, the types of battles that we can actually fight before we have a car or heavy firearms, uh, which, you know, we need to do more. Okay, I could equip this in both hands. Eh, actually, we could just... Never mind. I've got a couple residences to search. I'll uh, update if I find anything interesting. Alright, I've broken all of my spears, but one of those zombies has the key to one of those cars in it. So I think bread knife... Uh, I'm pretty sure I can't make spears with this, so I'm going to throw that down. I mean, we can use our foraging now to, you know, locate a couple branches and stuff on the ground. Extra pair of glasses. My, eh, the, you know, honestly, the glasses aren't really doing us that much good. Okay, he had two car keys on him. Interesting. Uh, we could take the kitchen knife, though. That's useful. Anything else? Now we can actually start to optimize our clothing situation as well. Uh, how are our military boots doing? Man, those things really came in handy. Whatever, very well. Okay, we are getting a shaking heart for health. Uh, that is because we are starving. We need more food. We ran out of... Eh, we've got a couple things. We'll just have whatever is perishable here. Alright, but I mean, we should be able to find, I don't know, a box of cereal... Of cereal. <laughs> a box of cereal here or there. Stuff like that. First aid kit. Okay, here is where we make our... We make our net. There shouldn't be anything in that. Uh, tissue. Okay, <laughs> finally a tissue after six months. Uh, <laughs> why? Um, ooh, wrench. Not bad. Not a bad find. Okay, here is where we start to get auto parts, and this is actually useful. Although we don't have a screwdriver yet, so we can't really do anything with that. We should be not all that far off from a residence over here, and I do believe it has a garage. Uh, so we'll make our way over there. It's a... Uh, Kind of nice to be out in civilization or even a rural area here where there's just more property lines. I've just been traveling through the woods for so long because I couldn't even live in these areas. Okay, now we got nothing. Uh, no item or no weapons. Mm, might just fight with my bare hands here. Nah, wrench is better. All right. Man, I love this area. Everything is unguarded. There's always maybe one, like one max per house. Uh, I just opted to run away instead of any fighting or anything like that. Save it for, uh, save it for the fights where we really need it. Doesn't seem like there's any out here though. There might, they might be out in the field still chasing me. Nah, they wouldn't have really turned this way. That's fine. Oops, don't do that. Honestly, that was a little bit ballsy of me. I'm just going to turn up the volume here. I'm going to be really careful hearing anything in the houses. Okay, we've got a garden saw. This is the type of shed I'm looking at, though. <sighs> Nothing. Oh, screwdriver. Okay, yes, yes. This is great. So now we can start to um, dismantle the, uh, the, 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 the... Uh, car lights, car headlights. This is great, actually. We can get, we can basically just renewably get mechanic skill if we just keep taking out and putting in the headlights. But hey, an actual house to loot. <laughs> when has this happened since day one? <laughs> oh my god. Uh, like a lot of items here that are. Oh. Who's this? Oh, even better. A guarded house. Okay, this is amazing. I've been waiting so long for one of these things. Let's just close the window really fast. They shouldn't be able to get through that door very easily. Ooh, okay, M9 pistol. This is great. I bet you that this place has all kinds of loot in it. Finally, a house, man. 
You know what I'm also noticing is that, and I do believe that this dissipates as the days go by, uh, I'm not instantly panicked from being indoors. I believe that my claustrophobia has worn off. Uh, unless if we go into a really small space, like if we go into a porta potty or something like that, great panic will erupt. But yeah, right here, I mean, I should be afraid in this small room, but I'm not. It just shows that that does seem to dissipate over time. Uh, I will take some mac and cheese. That's actually decent. Oh, God. That was unexpected. Okay, I just wanted to see how many were behind the door. It's just the one. Just make sure there's no more. Now nah, we're good. Okay, just you. All right, uh, not a bad house. Was expecting a little bit more since it had a, a board on one of the doors, but it looks like, I don't know, some guy had locked some other family member in a room and then took himself out or something like that. Uh, okay, baggy jeans. Wow, this guy was in great, he was in great condition when he, when he passed. Uh, we will put the rest on the ground here. Uh, I don't really know why. I don't even have a key ring. Anybody got a key ring over here? No, unfortunate. Keys don't actually take up any inventory space. Well, both of these were next to useless. Might end up going back for that car at some point, though, if the condition turns out to be decent. But, yeah, all right. Your boy can stand in a house now and not freak out. Oven mitt orange. Ooh, this is a very valuable item. Uh, orange soda is huge because it can just make us happy. We haven't been able to be happy in so long. Um, please, dry ramen noodles. Uh, okay, but honestly, more processed food is a help. Not so heavy. We don't need to be carrying around like 40 or 50 cabbages. M9, uh, honestly, not that useful, but I'll keep it with me because it is a thing. All right, but I mean, this should be uh, this countryside, you know, like... Uh, why does it just say school bag there? Um, house by house, we can actually make something of this now. And I can fight up to two with my bare hands. Any more than two becomes kind of iffy. Only because it's getting tricky to handle spear quality condition. And also just the weight of carrying around so many spears for this character. I think I can finally sleep in a bed though tonight. For the first time in like... Well, ever, honestly. I've never slept in a bed before. Wow. I'm going to close the curtains and go to bed. At long last. Alright, we're now waking up on May 17th. Actually getting along here to the summer, uh, which is quite nice. Now, now we have the uh, ability to take apart electronic equipment around us, which is quite nice. Uh, light bulb, I'll just throw that on the ground, but yeah, this will help us slowly start grinding toward electrical level one, which is necessary uh, if we want to hotwire cars. We also have the wrench on us, which might not be bad. I mean, really, the screwdriver is the main component right here, but I also noticed that uh, if we go far enough northeast, uh, sorry, excuse me, uh, southeast of our current position, then we should reach another warehouse. So there is another opportunity to find some of the stuff we're looking for. Really what we're looking for is the carpentry, but it is just nice to be back in civilization and have some type of landmark around. I just have to go double check my landmarks around me. Um, yeah, from here, if we head like north, we will come up on a few more houses just down the road. I figure, uh, Man, it's kind of crazy to just be able to walk over to the next house and not have to, like, trudge through some woods just into the middle of nowhere. This is pretty much our life for a while. <laughs> like, having things this close together, I know in a rural area, they don't really seem that close, but compared with what we were living through, it was just kind of heinous, to be honest. Um, or maybe I just am fond of the word heinous. Probably both. Anyway, okay, a garage here to be had and a house. This is actually not that scary. Like nobody's nobody's here. There's definitely somebody here. I can hear something. Several are here, I would have to say. 
Okay, but if I can take them out one by one, that would be for the best. Uh, I don't even remember. This house seems so nice. Was this, like, redone? Really a beautiful house. The fact that I can live anywhere, that claustrophobia wearing off is huge. Huge. Uh, vitamins, too. And I actually got a decent night's sleep in that bed I was in. Like, I wasn't tired after sleeping. It's so difficult to do that in this. I'm starting to think, oh, this one has a magnum on it, too. Ooh. Holster. Ooh, this is a police officer. Um, okay. Magnum. Eh, it's not even loaded, but it's still kind of cool, I guess. Like, no, no gun more American and symbolic than the Magnum. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, it's very nice to have actual items. Just, I still am in, like, a mild state of shock that we found anything. Empty bottle there. Ugh, still not the main stuff we're looking for, though. I really should have brought my hammer with me. Realizing that could have made dismantling just so much easier for this. Um... Can't disassemble that. Oh gosh, wow, generator. Didn't expect to find a generator any day soon, uh, but, well, there it is. Uh, box and nails too, I, you know, I might just leave this stuff here. Honestly, I mean like, are obviously really useful, but for right now, just, I don't think I can carry that much stuff with me. Uh, might want to just leave this stuff here and then start to make a note of it for soon, we'll, sooner or later, we'll, we'll get, yeah. Words don't come to me. I have to get a car. Okay, this is a bathroom. I really was expecting that to be a closet. Hmm. TV. Books that I can't read. Can't even look at the pictures in a comic book. I feel like that would be nice if you could do that. Mac and cheese. All right. Uh, we are actually like full on inventory though here. Might have to eat some of this stuff. Yeah, like make spears. Might have to decide on some base of operations. I just feel like I haven't found anything good enough in the last few houses. Maybe this house itself is going to be good enough for us to just call it our base for now. Um, bruh. Okay, that's like multiple rooms and I still don't really feel fully cleared off in the downstairs yet. Um, hold up a second. Can't really see what's inside from down there. I think I just open the door and then run away. It's a very, like, iffy situation. Okay, and one, and I'm walking away. Okay, there is one in there, and come down. <sighs> All right. Let's see if I find anything in here. All right, not really anything in that house. Uh, a couple zombies here and there, but... There should be a couple of opportunities that, like, yeah, here we go. Okay, wow. Corpses over here as well. A couple police officers as well. Might even find some ammunition around here. In, just in general, like, bulletproof vests, good gear. He's gotten way stronger, too. Like, he's getting, ooh, nicer backpack as well. Ah, sweet. Yeah, like, he's getting one-stop kills on, look at that. Look at how good that is, man. Things are happening for us. All right. Uh, two I can fight. Even had a chance to just, like, rest in a chair. I just feel like more of my negative traits are disappearing somehow. I don't really even know what to attribute it to. Uh, I will take the M9 now. Throw that on the holster and see if I can lighten up my load. Um, yeah, maybe I'll take a couple of these out from the house. Right, let's see if our aiming from before paid off at all. Should be able to take out one. Nope. Yeah, I think he's become desensitized as well. He's just not really panicking when they come close. He should be panicking more, arguably. Here's another. Right. I gotta turn back. This thing doesn't really even have that big a sound radius. If it were a shotgun, I'd be a little bit more reluctant to doing this. Alright, not bad. 
still save ammo if we can. Uh, this thing is not bad. You know, I mean, for one-on-ones, I'll take it. I would rather have a spear, but looks like we're about to get something from these guys. Uh, no, hockey stick. I stand corrected. Okay, hand axe is not bad, though. Still take that. Throw that on my, uh, on my belt. All right, we're starting to locate, like, what honestly appear to be survivalist zombies. Um, stone hammer. Might even be able to use that in carpentry. Uh, just make sure there's nothing else around me. Nope, I think we're good. Uh, slightly better looking backpack. School bag. Uh, what does this one have? Uh, it is bloody, but that doesn't make much of a difference to us. Just not to have the spiffo on everything. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but just, I don't know. It looks more like incognito, I guess. Um, hand axe. Okay, honestly useful for chopping down more trees. We're starting to get more stuff that I can even carry with me now, too. Ooh, very, very good. All right, um, I'm gonna see what- it, Ooh, leather gloves. Ah, oh, finally some hand protection. Uh, shells bandolier, also. Useful. Um, slightly helps with the speed of reloading, I believe. Uh, which for us is, is actually quite useful. Okay, actually a trowel as well, and fertilizer. Uh, the fertilizer I'll leave there, but not bad. Okay, now we can use this stone hammer to actually disassemble all the items around here. This is great because, uh, well, I mean, disassembly is the best way to get carpentry skill fast, and the fact that I hadn't brought it with me to civilization was just kind of irking me, but 65.1 out of uh, 75. This will get us to better spear quality when we craft them. Uh, that's pretty huge. That's pretty important. So, hang on a second. I'm just going to throw... Um, mm, you know, I think I'm going to put down all of these items at the doorstep right here. What the heck? Uh, okay, that was nothing. That was, uh, every sound just strikes pure fear. So if we throw all this stuff down... I'm going to go ahead and grind out some carpentry skill in the house right here. And we are at... Uh, actually, we are above carrying capacity again. Okay, I'll throw down the spear too, I suppose. Alright, back in a few. Alright, I've just about disassembled everything in the house, or uh, at least on the lower floor. Beds really make for the best experience here, just disassembling your bed, but... There we go, carpentry level 1. Shouldn't be too hard to get level 3 as well. This is, uh... Unfortunately, we did miss the TV programming that happens earlier on in this uh, playthrough, but... Hey, uh, what that's gonna get us to is better spear quality that we craft. So with just impl uh, or with just items that we find out in the woods, we'll be able to, um, you know, get full quality spears once we get to level three. I do believe it goes up in increments too, so we should be getting slightly better uh, quality now, in general. But um, fortunately, we are finding enough items around here. But just for any large areas where we're going to need to clear a lot of them out, we'll need spears for it. So it's going to be worth it in the end. Right, continuing investigations around the neighborhood with... Uh, oh, what is this? What is that? Jeez, that came in so clear. Just the sound effects in this game. Ever since they redid the sound works, it sounds amazing. I mean, so I thought it sounded good before that, but then they just sounded so much more ultra-realistic ever since then. Uh, crop top, nothing really too particularly interesting here. Uh, we can dismantle- amazing that you can dismantle earbuds. Still not really finding the caliber of items that I want to. I still just looking for, like, heavy industrial equipment. Ooh, can opener. Oh, wow. That's like half of the food has now just been unlocked for us. Been looking for one of those things for months. Saucepan isn't a completely bad item, but there's not too much we can do with it really right now. Um, I am willing to... I guess once we get through the rest of this neighborhood, I'm just going to make a quick check of the last few houses, but... Still just doing great! I mean, considering what we are finding, and look, I, I can even jog now. It's the simple things in life. Um, but yeah. Finally getting to those last two warehouses at the end. Ooh, this also looks kind of promising. What is this here? Leaf rake. Uh, all right. I will just kind of like come out if I find anything interesting because I could go through these places all day, but I don't want to just bore you with that. Only if I find any anything interesting. All right. I have finally hit carpentry level two. 
Uh, only one level to go. This is surprisingly easy, but mainly just because there's so much, like, wooden furniture around here from all these, uh, rural homes. There's just so much room in them, which is great. Uh, and a lot of large beds that you can take apart as well. Uh, unfortunately, I've dismantled the beds I was going to sleep in tonight, so I'm going to have to backtrack to the other house. I think I've got one left here. I didn't really find much loot, uh, a little bit of food, but, uh, not that bad. Okay, now we are we are setting out slightly to the south, uh, just south, or really southeast of here. There should be another warehouse, uh, and if we head to that, it's probably gonna give us the best chance at fingers crossed a pitchfork. Pitchfork would be amazing right here. But if all that we find is like various industrial equipment, still decent, there are none here. That is surprising and good because. Uh, this is bound to be where I find, like, the, the loot I've been looking for for months. Please have something. Nope, just a bunch of sacks of rotten tomatoes. Wow, that is upsetting and sad. Uh, Alright, well, it turns out the entire warehouse uh, uh, adventure was just a massive bust. Oh well, uh, I mean, we can use it for other experience, but... Yeah. I am sad. I am a sad man. Well, uh, it was the, you know, the real warehouse was the friends we made along the way, I guess is all that can be said of this. Uh, but, you know, we will keep going on in these other rural houses and hopefully find more of the equipment we were looking for, which we already have found some of it, and even like that random cop event. Just getting to be back out in civilization in general is just going to increase the number of collisions around us, you know, more opportunities for things to go right. Ooh! Oh, this was insanely lucky. One of them has a large military backpack, which is basically the most useful tool uh, that we could have had. Uh, I don't even have a backpack with me at all, so now I have three backpacks, uh, which is just too, really too many backpacks, but yeah. All right. Um, Oh, jeez. Hang on. That was a very dangerous animation whenever they get up. Really hate that animation. But, uh, okay. Can you just expire so that I can get the backpack, please? All right, there we go. Wow. Finally, some good fortune. Ooh, some sort of survival man as well. And he had some leather gloves as well. Uh... I am going to look so cool. Wow. We've waited so long for this thing. Finally, I can feel happy again. All right. Sweet. Already this trip is going very well. Um, Let's, uh, yeah, get whatever we can out of these. Maybe get a nap or something in. And go from there. All right, pretty much done over here. This housing complex wasn't so bad. I've done a bit of dismantling. I think I'm just going to be on my way. I could do a little bit more, but there will be plenty more to come where we're headed next. Uh, there's more warehouses. We did manage to find a shovel, and I, I do like having a shovel with me. Just some piece of heavy gardening equipment that's been repurposed for violent... Um, you know, for a violent end. And I think that is a worthwhile pursuit. So, um, you know... <laughs> <laughs> naturally in our next uh in our next endeavor maybe we'll find even heavier gardening equipment but yeah like not so bad but a lot of farm fields to travel through so it is what it is Ooh, i found an ambulance key wow could be uh actually not terrible wow this thing works and a trauma bag is it would have been nice to find this months ago uh and a tissue to guard my sneezing uh as well as painkillers not bad I haven't found, like, any of this stuff up until this point. Trauma bag, though, uh, not really great. We could just leave it back in there, though. This thing looks like it's in terrible condition. I'm guessing probably won't start. Oh, dear God. I just found a car. Okay. <laughs> uh, we, we won. We won. It's full of gas as well. Let's just go check this thing out. That's amazing. I didn't think I would find a car at all any year. Anytime soon at all. Okay, this is insanely lucky. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, there's got to be something wrong here, though. 
a lot wrong. Ooh. Ooh, that's not great. So don't really count on it, but it can get you from place to place for a little while. Uh, in particular, let's just... I had to look away for a second. It was so bad. Uh, overall condition, 11.33. What about the essential things? Okay, battery, actually 88% remaining is not bad. Gas tank, uh, what about the engine? Engine, where is the engine? Uh, 15%, okay, better than nothing. Uh, any of the tires about to go out? Probably they're all uneven as well. Oh well, let's do it anyway, because why not start there? Let's unlock the doors, and we have a car now. I did not expect this to be happening today or anytime soon, but we're just going to go real slow-like. Um, especially since everything's now overgrown. But All right, we can m take this all the way to the next test. In fact, no, I'm just going to leave this here. Better off just coming back for it, because the next place is bound to be more full of zombies. Uh, but it should be just around the corner over here. In like three, two, one, no? Okay, here it is, yeah. There's another neighborhood over here. I'm kind of less interested in the neighborhood and more interested in the warehouses beside it. Surprisingly, nobody's here. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna keep my expectations low. What, more fun? Yep, every, I swear, it's like these spawn tables used to be good, you used to find shovels you know, pitchforks, items like these in these warehouses, but now it's just sacks of rotten tomatoes and stuff like that. Uh, pretty horrible. I am getting stronger. Uh, not only physically, but also just as a person with a skill set. Or at least it seemed I had been. I have dismantled everything in this, uh, warehouse. We are nearly at carpentry level three, which is insane because that gives us full spear quality. And once we get full spear quality, you know what that means. Basically, oh gosh, someone else is knocking at my door. A moment. Yeah. Get out. Get out. All right, sorry about that. Um, yeah, but spears would be, honestly, better weapons than what we've currently got, and getting them all at full quality is just gonna make our lives, obviously, much, much better. Who is interrupting? Oh, breaking windows now. Well, uh, anyway, a uh, little bit more to do here, but then I guess we'll head back. Uh, what is that sound? It's like somebody yelling? Uh, not really to our old base, but just to the other civilized areas around here, because they are there for the having, and why not, you know, right? Okay, I have finally hit carpentry level three. Uh, this is basically the extent of all the main core skills I want, aside from just as much physical fitness and strength as possible, which I have really seen the results of that. Now we're able to, um, well, let's go ahead and take a, a plank and we'll just make three spears. Uh, and then test these out for just a moment, because I want to show... Here we go. So it should be... Yeah, full spear quality on all three of these. So that's amazing. Uh, we've got our hunting knife out, so we should be able to do this. Uh, obviously, we do need to find more knives and stip, uh, chipped stones as we go. But yeah, basically, now we can just make spears, and spears are the best weapon. I mean, obviously, you can get better spears among spears, but that is to say, uh, these spears are the best. So I think we equip this in both hands. We could take our hammer, garden saw. We're really carrying a lot of items with us now. Just tons of canned foods that we found a shovel in our backpack. Uh, maybe I'll check out that annotated map sooner or later. But yeah, I can't put one of these in my fanny pack, unfortunately. I could put uh, sleeping tablets in there, though, I suppose. Screwdriver. Items seem to translate in and out of the backpack a lot more easily now. I think I'll leave one of these spears here, because spears are very easily replaceable, which is uh, the great part about them. And now we can start to actually gain levels in our preferred weapon class. Although spear levels, eh, not really that useful. It's really the maintenance that you're going after, just so that these things don't get destroyed instantly when you start using them. So, like, pretty much insta-kill every single time that you use it. Uh, and that is our main one, Crafted Spear. Uh, TBD, how many we can actually take out with each one, but 
You know, the fact that we can pretty much just renewably make these things super easy is great. Did we use up... Okay, maybe they're not quite as amazing as I thought with this level of maintenance. <laughs> uh, but still, it's... It is better than nothing. Or it's better than what we had before. I'm hearing, like, some activity. Okay. Clearing out this place, and then, uh, we have an ambulance to take home. Well, it's nice now to have some sort of mobile fortress. Or really just a mobile carrying device. Uh, so I think we will use this now to start to consolidate our inventory. I would rather be nomadic uh, and have a car to keep coming back to rather than have to live in a house. I think at this point we will start to focus on the mechanics skill grind because mechanics uh, is what's going to get us not only, you know, already what we've got, but also a lot of skills that, I'm sorry, not skills, kills that we need. Uh, we need to kill a lot of zombies, and the only way to really do that is with cars. Guns are simply not even as useful. Cars, just for driving them over, uh, is ultimately going to be the most useful to us here. But just gathering up mechanical equipment would be um, germane. Well, we're on the road again, you, me, and Dupree. Uh, and where is Dupree? I don't know, but, ooh, we're getting, like, engine stalling here. Uh, hmm, nice-looking road wrecks, but still just too high a zombie pop to really consider getting out of the, the ambulance here, especially considering the fact that it's still stalling on me. I say that we just go fast. I don't even feel comfortable in this thing as is. But I think we have a few dots where we've got big spawns on the road. So we'll try a couple more of these warehouses and see what we get with that. Maybe load up the trunk with a bunch of spears and then try to clear out some areas. What do you say to that? Okay, I'm thinking this next set of warehouses is probably going to be equally useless, but I'll take anything I can get, because if we could get one pitchfork out of this, it's all worth it. Uh, and these do look... Ooh, jeez. Hang on a second. Okay. Uh, no. 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 Do we let them out? There's already enough here. It's 3 p.m. I think I just get back in the in the uh, ambulance and sleep in that tonight. Go somewhere else. Not a good idea. I need some rest. I do. I need some rest. Well, my friends... The time has arrived to return to one of the most loved places of salvation in Project Zomboid. The uh, farm to the east. This is a pretty reliable location. Uh, the area around is more crowded than I thought it would be, but the spawns themselves inside... Yeah, we should get maybe a couple, but not that many. Inside the house, this should be manageable. I just gotta take out the ones that are already in here. Jesus, they're already in there, too. Um, worse than I thought, but still, this is... Jeez, really? Three? All right, hang on a second. I gotta handle this situation. I've cleared out most of the farm area. There's still some nearby, but I would say that this is uh, about as safe as I'm gonna get here. I do like this area because you have a free well, so as much water as you need, clean water, so we don't have to worry about uh, bringing anything around with us, but yeah, good, finally can get rid of that moodlet. Uh, very hungry, what is our weight at though right now too? 84 and dropping a bit, but we could afford to lose a few pounds. Now we have a good character. I'd say that it's time now to just go out into the woods, find tree branches, and just start fighting. Um, legitimately, like, just start fighting as many of them as we can to just bring down their numbers. Um, and just get better at fighting and get a better sense of how strong our character is. Um, Washing Beard. <laughs> yeah, how strong is Washing Beard now that he's uh, overcome his claustrophobia, really, above all? Um, but yeah, being able to carry around enough items with us, enough knives on us, too, that, you know... Getting enough spears shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, let's have at it. The next project here is, can I take out five to ten at once? Which it looks like he's actually doing with relative ease. Uh, goes through about two spears in that amount of time, but that's no more than a, a decent character would. And as our maintenance improves, 
We'll get even better with that. Dang, that was like seven per spear. Um, okay, now take out another one. Only real limitation here is the fact that he needs to carry a lot more. And I think at this point, it's not really the fitness. It's, it's more the strength that's limiting him because of just the sheer number of spears he would need to carry in his inventory. Um, but yeah, we are now wielding a character who before could take out maybe one or two or five in one looting run, and now I would say that number has risen to like 20 or 25, which significantly opens up the whole map to us, uh, with just a lot more options. So, from here, it's really just a matter of clearing out our homeland. We can really go on the offensive, whether that keeps up with respawn rates, it really depends in certain areas, but I think for most rural areas, we should be okay. We, now we can actually secure this well, that was the whole reason I'd come over here. Uh, well security was my mission. Cowboy. I don't think cowboy hat will really do us much good anymore here. Um, at this point, it does kind of also beg the question, could we reliably lose the cold? Because it's 67 degrees out, uh, like, on the regular. And it, it seems as though that should be dissipating at some point, right? Uh, we may try to get well fed once more, but... It'd be good to do it before the summer is over, that is to say. Well, more good luck has found us. We've uh, located an empty gas can, which is pretty nice. Uh, a little heavy. Might be able to throw that into... Yeah, backpack would be better. Uh, but now we can actually refuel our car. That's pretty big. Uh, as well as duct tape. Uh, repairing things from here is not really as useful, but... Uh, it is what it is. So, now we have a way of refueling. Really, I think it's... It's more a matter of getting those mechanical skills again. Uh, this area seems too overrun to me, so I would like to get out of here. Maybe find somewhere better to just, like, live in the long run. But where would mechanical items be? Maybe back toward Muldra. Okay, I've leveled up in sprinting as well. Not really very useful for us, but it is something. Uh, every achievement is a celebration to, at, at this point in time, to be honest. Uh, I am going to attempt to get rid of this cold now, because I think... There's no way that we shouldn't be able to get this. This is like room temperature, 68.2 degrees. Uh, yeah, we should be able to get rid of this if we remain well fed. All right, I've decided to make my way back to the police car uh, crash. I just feel like this is going to be the site of a decent number of uh, supplies that we could potentially use from here. And ooh, also not crowded. Uh, although I do not trust this ambulance anymore because it keeps stalling out on me. So we're probably going to be, as soon as we can, we're going to be ditching this thing. Um, just make sure that the coast is clear around here. Because we do have a thickened tree line now from all the overgrowth. So stuff will, like, pop out at you. Okay, tire pump, actually not terrible. Hang on a second. Just keep looking around. Uh, uh, that's why. Okay, one. I do believe we're out in the... Are we out in the farmlands yet? No. Thought those were a pair of overalls. Never mind. Mm. Nah, just some red trunks. Red trunks on that one. Now, if we do make our way to remote areas like this, there is... I keep thinking I'm hearing things. There is the chance that we could potentially... Um... You know, keep finding other car wrecks and more cars to work on, obviously. So, 308 rounds. Uh, guns will do us some good here. Now, if we go ahead into this trunk. Not trunk. Tr truck. Ooh, we haven't found these in a long time. Man, we are really, like, kitted at this point in time. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really use these cars for much else besides just the experience uh, that it is to be in a car. Go ahead and dismantle these. I'm going to see if I can locate more wrecks around the world. Just because I feel like this would uh, give us all the needed mechanical skill. Where are we at right now? 1.75. So we've got a ways to go here. 1.75. So one radio uninstall gives us uh, 1.92. So that's 0.17 experience. There's quite a lot to go here. So I'm going to need to spend some days just finding wrecks on the road. 
uh, and then dismantling them and taking them apart, getting to know how they work, because that's the best way we're going to be getting to hot wiring skill, which is pretty important here if we want to get around, get a decent capacity car to carry things around in. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm going to give that a shot now. You could kind of power level with the headlights on one car from day to day. So really gathering up, well, we've got three here. It's not a bad place to start, honestly. Okay, much as I had expected, uh, the light bulb exploit still works. So if you install different light bulbs into each socket of the, uh, of the car, like one at a time, you do stack experience. So this is an insanely OP way to uh, grind it up. I really thought that they had removed this from the game, uh, but it still exists. And it's been in Zomboid for like years now. <laughs> uh, that's great. So we can actually use this. I just have to keep checking around me because this area doesn't really feel that secure, but uh, uh, I'll look here and there, just keep checking my back. All right, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna grind up some experience and uh, we'll meet up at the end. All right, after days of push and pull, I think I've finally cleared out the, uh, really the north section of Rosewood. We're currently sitting at 603 uh, zombies killed. Surviving for just over six months now, so I guess that's like, uh, 360, uh, it's like, uh, 186, uh, around about, like, uh, why am I struggling to do this math? Six months, roughly 180, yeah, 186 days, I was right, okay, so roughly 186 days now. Spear skill has risen, maintenance skill has risen, we'll keep doing that as we go. Really, I, I think that the next stake to plant here is going to be handling our mechanical and electrical skill. Much as I said before, but now we have access to more cars. So as we do that, you know, uh, fighting off any hordes that get redistributed into this area, because they do tend to kind of spread out over time as you go, uh, which that is kind of a shame. So... You know, trying to keep the cars in decent condition, there are a few good condition cars here. There's one, there's like a brewery car uh, over on the other end. Hang on a second, let me just go ahead now that I've opened this up, I could unlock the trunk. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that's the story. Uh, you know, going into and out of town, I guess if anything looks particularly interesting, I'll show it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it is kind of a grind. And then after that, finally we'll get a car and then we can start to... I don't know. I'm th I'm thinking we could probably take on like either like a gun store or a military base. Maybe not a military base yet, but yeah, I think like some kind of remote-ish armament catch would definitely be like doable. But for right here, it's it's mainly just spear work. Spears are good. We are getting better with them. They're lasting longer in combat. Um, and yeah, I think that's that's about it. That's about all there is to say. We are getting faster with the spears, and I would say that they can take out, like, tens of them now, perhaps, at a time. Maybe not tens each, but, like, one inventory full is taking out, I don't know, 20 or 30, rather than... Originally, it was, like, 2 or 3, but then it got up to 5 or 10, but now we're actually making some good headway. So, really just a matter of kind of patrolling this area over the next couple of days. Yeah, just like I said, I wanted to show this. So sometimes you'll see, like, streams of them just kind of coming in uh, randomly. You can't really change this. I know some people like to play with respawn off. Uh, but in CDDA, you're working with hardcore six months later settings. I believe so. That basically by default leaves on respawn, which I do think is legit. But what we're seeing here isn't so much respawn. It's more like... There's just a lot in the area around, and they tend to redistribute whenever it's, like, not very even. So, that's pretty much where we're at uh, with this whole thing. There's going to be a lot that keep moving in, and we'll see groups of, like, 20, 25, just kind of migrating at a time. Like birds. Day 190. I seem to have cleared out just about all of the small groups near the grocery store. Anytime that I get a group that large, though... It takes me a minute, so I'm at 733 now, but how are our skills coming along? Spear, we will get level 1, and maintenance we will get, or level 2. Uh, we will get level 3 in maintenance as well, which is great for us, because we are getting... I mean, I would say that we could probably tick out 10 with each spear, which is a great number. Uh, 
here we go. Problem is, I'm starting to run out of wood in town, so I'm needing to move on to new buildings. Fortunately, after I get done with the supermarket over here, uh, well, we'll have access to more food. We're kind of running low on it now, but really it's it's like wood for spears, oddly enough. I know you can get tons of it in nature, but... Uh, yeah, like weird resource caps we're hitting here. Hang on a second. All right. I'm out for a minute. Well, I've been using the technique of uh, waiting until each zombie in a group sees me individually. As long as you don't uh, mess with the horde leader, like each one of these groups, actually in the programming of the game, has a leader. And if that one sees you, then they all come for you. So probably we tripped. Uh, we might have tripped the leader, unless if this has changed by now. But I do believe that this is the way that this used to work in the game. Um, just to, like, spawn bigger groups. We'll go ahead and attach that one to the back, but once we have this, that's pretty much all of the big groups up till the grocery store. And then everything inside at last, after, I'd say, like, two weeks of clear-out, it's pretty much ours for the taking. And that puts us, honestly, a pretty good, good amount of the way into Rosewood. Woo, I really didn't expect that. Okay, yeah, see, now that was a group of, like, 15 or so, and we've just brought it down to three. Uh, and without really having to put up too much of a fight. Now, there is a place that we could live or sleep in the upper half of the grocery store. Let's see what we can make of that. I don't know if it'll be really secure. I've been living in the gas station in the one room where I haven't dismantled everything yet. I think I'm just going to leave all that stuff across the street. Because uh, we do have a bit of a tree line here we could use to block visibility. But, I mean, seeing as it's just, what, like one or two around? As long as they don't make a lot of noise. We just gotta be quiet in the back. Maybe the front right here isn't so great. Just because there's windows. I'll take out this one. But then, let's go around the back. Finally. Uh, there's probably gonna be a big group back here too. Yeah, see, already... Like 10 or 15 right there. Um, okay, but I think that we might be able to push through in this one. I just want to see if I can get it all in one, because... I mean, I've been persistent, right? What are you headed toward over there? This is the technique, though, is just... The one animation you want to avoid is the one where you, like, plant your feet in place. And that one, as I've learned, can only get triggered if there aren't other ones nearby. So what you want to do is just be backing away with a bunch of them coming at you at once. But, like, have only one or two in the front. Just so that you can do this this type of pushing, you know? Anyway, uh, it always kind of devolves into chaos as you go, the more... I just need another source of wood now. Um, but, yeah, I mean, otherwise it just kind of takes some patience. It's not really, like... The hardest thing to do? Okay, little situations like that, but... Yeah, like, see, no real danger, just... Kind of long. Um, let's go ahead and see. I think I also brought... Did I bring duct tape with me? No, I do actually have duct tape with me. Alright, um... Yeah, I'll repair one on the way there. I'm bound to have to fight more than that. Uh, we probably have a better spear here, but yeah, we'll use the duct tape to repair that. Cool, um, try repairing it again. We could probably save this for something better, it's not really worth it, but, uh, you know, I might as well do it. I'm getting a little bit impatient now at this point. Always gotta be ready to run, though. Okay, yeah, um, I take it back, we won't be getting in today, or maybe by the very end of the day, but... Anyway, I just kind of wanted to give a snapshot, because that's pretty much what it's been for about, I don't know, one or two weeks. But I keep trying to get the groups off to the sides to come to me. Just because if you try to go in and you get yourself surrounded, the conspicuous trade is going to get you killed. Yeah, or like situations like this. I have to kind of run them out, make sure that they're coming at me from only one direction, and then come back at the goal again. Okay, I've finally made it to the point where I can go inside the grocery store. I think it's taken three weeks because uh, they keep regrouping in different positions, but now, at long last, I'll have access to the food inside. 
and like how much food there will be but there's also bound to be a lot inside and they'll start breaking windows so uh, who am I kidding it's I don't think eh. actually I mean there will be enough for us to dis disassemble once we get inside and I now have access to a lot of wood I should be okay in that part it's really just a matter of how many can I take out in the neighborhood as we go um, but like I said, yeah, they keep redistributing over here. But, I mean, look at me go. Like, I'm way faster at killing them than I was when I started. Remember when I first started with spears? And I would be able to take out maybe one with a spear? And then, you know, we'd all just, everything would just kind of fall apart. No. Now we can actually, like, hold our own in combat for a while, so... I mean, you know, a lot of back and forth, but let's take a look inside, finally. See what we can get out of this. Ugh, man, more keep coming out of the woods. 807, though. We're nearing 1,000 kills, which, considering this is, like, one of the worst possible starts of any character that you can possibly take, that's kind of saying something, man. Okay, so some cereal tuna... Yeah, okay, so just like I was kind of saying before, like, these civilized areas still do have loot, despite the fact that loot is just god-awful everywhere else in the game. Um, hold up a second. I just kind of want to get a sense of what's in the store. Prevent them from, like, breaking down too many of the entrances, really, because if they should take down the glass, then we're in trouble. I'm going to leave those closed, even despite the fact that they might make more noise there. Just let them kind of come toward me in the grocery store if something goes wrong. Oh, we always get the garage door. Or we could go out the front. That might even be safer if really things go bad. Okay, so like pretty much what we did before was the right idea. Um, taking them out in front of the store prevents there from being too many that are knocking on the glass. Let's actually just get back into the into the storage room. Because I think this is going to be much safer. So I'll lure them in here. And then grab whatever I can out of the store. I won't be able to get it on the first try, but... Man. These racks can also be taken apart for wood. Let's just also take out any of them that are banging on things. Because it's causing more noise, attracting more to the store. There's one on the door over there. Okay, and that's a lot. Uh, I'm going to have to retreat back out and give this another look. But you know what? We did get a box of cereal, which pretty much tides us over for like days now. So it's a help. It's something. And we'll go from there. All right, at last, I would say we're at what? Day now. Now day 94. Day 94, and we've finally secured a grocery store. This is uh, access to food for a long time. We'll see how far this gets us, you know? Like, okay, here we go. Yeah, they keep coming out of corners. I'm sure more will invade and we'll have to do something. But it'd be nice if I could, like, take shelter in an upstairs room or something like that up here. Because I think, for the most part, up and around the store, we're safe. I just have to check the aisles. Okay, that one looks good. That looks good. Uh, that looks good. Yeah, the back room. A lot of this is perishable food back here, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, we're okay. In business. Okay, so now onto what I was saying before. There should be a room at the top, like a management office, where you can actually sleep up there. Um, I mean, they'll probably come back into the store itself, but let's just grab some food off the... Here we go, like tortilla chips, anything that we can get in here. Because I've been living off of convenience store food uh, for the last few months, and that's been kind of crazy. I think there's probably a few more up here. Yeah, but I mean, you know, it's like, it's remote enough from the rest of the store. I don't want to spend too much time out here, because they can still see me and they'll be attracted to the store. Also, it's kind of hairy to get out of this place, so, you know... Being careful, but yeah, just a couple bathroom stalls, it seems like, is just about all that's left. I mean, what this really means is that we can start to move our base of operations, or like at least the kind of safe area in Rosewood, 
a little bit farther into town. Because right now I've been living out of the gas station and I'm just kind of running out of supplies there because I've burned through everything. Um. Okay, yeah. Finally, we're secure. We could sleep in the office. I don't know if I want to because it's just a chair, but uh, yeah, all right. At last, day 94, we've secured a grocery store. Jeez. Um, what else do we really have to develop on ourselves? I mean, we are about at level, level two in Spear. He is kind of a machine before he runs out of breath. Uh, so from this point forward, it might be worth it to, I mean, we're practically, yeah, we're like two thirds of the way there on strength level, uh, six and then fitness level six would also be great. Um, but it's really, it's more just the spears that run out before anything else in combat. So power leveling maintenance here might actually pay off. Um, the spear skill, skill itself might be helped, but it's really just the maintenance. Um, yeah, that combined with strength so that we could carry more spears with us. But this guy's still got a, a good ways to go. I, I think that he could be about two to three times stronger than he currently is. Um, which just means that he could take out, oh, I don't know, 50 maybe 60 zombies in one run because right now i would say that that number is around 20 to 25 but um yeah i mean at that point you can pretty much take out a town uh or like make good headway in not a town but make good headway into a town um at that level of strength but yep secure but with only a few days left uh before day 200 i've decided to go ahead and just eat a lot of processed food in the store it's not hard to put on weight by eating processed food and I don't really want to go through all the effort of planting cabbages uh, going back to all of our old locales and finding the cabbage seeds again so I think I'm yeah dried black beans 3,000 calories it's going to make me very upset but yeah double chevron up on weight um, really overall the only things that we're really dealing with now is just depression and anxiety anxiety will pretty much always be there forever uh, simply due to the fact that we can't really find cigarettes, you know? Um, I mean, I can smoke a couple. In fact, I will smoke a cigarette right now. Uh, hang on a second. Did I actually smoke it? Here we go. Smoking another cigarette. There we go. So I've taken away the anxiety. The boredom will go away in a second. The tiredness, uh, comes and goes. But, uh, yeah, the depression is, is a bit of a pain to get rid of just because all of our sources of food pretty much give us depression. Uh, so that is not too particularly great. That being said, what do we really stand to get before the end? I would say that we could get spear level 2. Uh, maintenance, we won't be getting that by day 200. But really, getting an honest start on mechanics. Because I don't want to be trapped in rosewood forever. Uh, that and electrical. I, I think we now is the time to shine in these two areas. Because we have a whole city's worth of electronics and cars at our disposal. Uh, sure, we have to fight a little bit of our way through it, but we're pretty good at it now. And we've, uh, like, you know, more or less unlocked all of the important areas here. So I say that we go out. Um, what I'm going to spend the next couple of days doing is just finding cars and then, like, disassembling things. And as I go through, just fighting off whatever zombies I see nearby. Um, arguably... I mean, you know, there are safer places to do this, but just, like, being super cautious the whole time if anything comes up, you know. Um, but here we go. Yeah, taking out the radio, putting it back in. And I don't think we'll get all the way there, but it'll be at least enough that, you know, it's nice to it's nice to progress in this challenge. Um, I am significantly better than I was in part one, that is to say. It is very, very grindy. But that being said, like, if you do kind of an apples-to-apples apples comparison of ourself, not really apples-to-apples, apples. if you compare, I'm just hungry, I think that's why I said that, um, but yeah, I mean, if you compare on all fronts, combat, skills, survival, uh, survivalist kind of traits, like, all around, we're looking at practically a completely different human being at this point in time, especially... And also, too, and this one is hard to locate, all the gear that he's accumulated now, too, which does count. You know, I mean, it's practically leveling. Um, I think that's about it, though. Yeah, we need two levels in mechanics and so on and so forth. I don't think we're going to be finding a car. It's just not worth it um, from right here anyway. You know, like, if something happens to it, like, well, we lost our ambulance. Uh, it's just a pain. So, 
Yeah, we gotta get good at hot wiring cards. That's the next step. Well, we're coming right up around 200 days now. I've got nearly to electricity level uh, one. <laughs> like, right after all that. Uh, yeah, I, it's extremely grindy to get these early level skills with a character with slow learning and just so many negative attributes, but honestly, uh, a pretty a pretty valiant effort. I feel like I feel like that's pretty good. Giving myself a lot of credit here. But yeah, I mean, I think I've taken apart hundreds of digital watches now, which is uh, it's saying something, you know. Uh, probably 200 or so. Or maybe 100 digital watches and then just various other items from around. But I, I don't think I quite have enough to get into the houses, because I think that would be how I would get more knives. Uh, and electronics, I really just need spears and electronics from here on in. Uh, we could potentially take apart a few of these. Actually, that is not looking so bad. Bright flag in. You know, the one thing I regret about this second part of the whole uh, challenge has been just the fact that it was too tricky to stream any of it, so I just wound up doing it all as recordings, because it's so much stop and go that kind of streaming it just feels somewhat pointless. Because it's sort of like, alright, well, I'll spend 50 minutes, you know, getting watches or whatever. And it is, like, very kind of chill. Like, it, it is very much a chill exercise. I listen to podcasts and stuff, but... But it's also just kind of gotten to be a grind, so I'm thinking that after we get done with this part, uh, we actually get a car, things will get a little bit more interesting again, because it's kind of been, it's been pretty dull for this part, and I anticipate it will be dull for a little while again, um, just as we get, not really, like, basically the big grinds that we still have ahead of us, which I've, I've wanted to talk about for the last, I don't know, 10 days or so, are, are these. We've got to get electrical level 1, which we're almost there with. Let me just bring up my stats. Electrical level 1, and then mechanics level 2, which is pretty easy. It's just kind of a waiting game because you keep coming back to cars day after day, so you can keep dismantling parts of them and putting them back on. Um, so with those two, then you can hotwire anything. That's a big dub. Uh, and then after that, really the only grind left that's worth like doing is fitness and strength. Which is about the same as whatever you would get with a character without all these negative traits. Aside from the fact that he's a slow learner. Um, so all of those... Let me just make sure there's none behind me. All that aside, those are basically the last things to get a good character. Although I think our guy right now is actually really good. Oh, along with that, I forgot about mechanic. Uh, not mechanics, maintenance. Spear will maybe get to level 1 or 2, but maintenance we could get to like level 3 or 4 or so. And that would actually mean that spears would last way longer in combat. Of course, there's still a lot more we could do after that, like getting firearms, actually clearing out a decent area, you know, maybe like a military base or something like that, and getting some of the better loot in the game. Um, hang on a second. But as you can see, like, he can pretty much hold his own in combat now. He's good. It's just that it it's a lot of grinding. Um, so that's pretty much where we're at. I feel like it would be kind of silly to continue here because we are at, like, day 200, so... I'm just... Actually, where are we? Exact day count? Yeah. Two, uh... 200 days and 10 hours. Killed 1,048 zombies. Favorite weapon, crafted spear. We're right about at the balanced weight here. We have good access to food. Um, so that I'm not too... Not too worried about. We lost our cold. You know, it's summer. I think, uh, it's a good time of year to be... Where we're at. Spear, basically the next time we'll be getting to spear, maintenance. So like, better long la- or lasting longer in combat and also being more explosive really at the start of fights. That's what I've noticed the spear level is good for. Um, but for right now the issue is just that I've literally run through all of the chipped stones and all of the knives that I've found. And what I'm trying to do is get over to the housing complex over there. So that I can hopefully find, and also all those cars over there, because that would just help me level my mechanics super fast. Uh, if I manage to secure that area, but they keep kind of moving back into the areas I've cleared out. Which, don't be fooled, it is a very good area to have cleared out. Uh, but most of the ones that I find with a knife of them, it's like a butter knife, or a bread knife, or whatever. So, ooh, there is actually one. Okay, let's grab it. Hunting knife. Um, not bad. Not too shabby. 
You know, here we might actually be... Uh, I don't really think I have it in me to go through all of that just now. But I think we could probably take out a few more with the spear. Yeah, that would be doable. Um, anyway, I just kind of wanted to get a, like a bit of a snapshot of where I'm at now on day 200. I guess we are technically on... This is probably the 201st day, so maybe I'm cheating there, but... So be it. But yeah, not too particularly good with long blunt, short blunt, or any of those other weapon classes. Like, look at this. <laughs> even a man 200 days of training, even still, is probably the tired uh, moodlet. Which we haven't really found coffee to mitigate that. But overall, I can't complain. Oh, Jesus. He's actually done pretty... That's what I get for getting into a monologue. Anyway, I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to sign off there. This has been a shorter part, but this is kind of like the intermediate, but let me just go check around myself. This has been kind of the middle part. I anticipate that around 300 days he's going to be in his own vehicle, uh, doing much, much better. It's sort of like the awkward middle child, the sequel we're at right now, but, you know, getting along. And kind of unintentionally with that whole time, strength is leveled up too, so. No complaints, but I guess just kind of an awkward uh, middle part of the series signing off here for 300 days. Will be appreciably better, but after that, well, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it, but breaking through that ceiling should be interesting. Maybe even getting my own base or wherever we go next. Anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, and... Probably going to end it there, actually, just walking off into the rain. I never anticipated myself taking out this much of a town in this little time, so. Uh, and to be fair, we spent the first 50 days of this segment, uh, you know, basically just doing exercise for that entire time. So, in that regard, we have overcome. Uh, and, and we've actually got a lot more progress done than we did in the first part of the series, to my own credit. His, his improvement does begin to accelerate because he doesn't have to keep retreating every time. So, uh, yeah, leaving ourselves slightly, slightly in an awkward position here. But for part three, we're going to be in much, much better shape. So, anyway, uh, yeah, I think that's it. And I uh, hope you enjoyed part two. Uh, it's kind of nice getting to, like, go through with a character for a whole year like this. Uh, maybe we'll round it off to, like, one year. Eh. I don't know, maybe I'll go even further than that, but yeah, it has kind of a nice ring to it. But yeah, almost a full year in Zomboid. It's a lot you can do. One wonders what you could do with a better character, because this guy uh, has just been kind of a giant pile of crap. Living in a universe that is really not that much better than him, because the loot spawns have been so low. But that is to say, it gets better. <laughs>